boys and girls, are you ready to read another story? Well, today we're learning about a different animal called a red panda. I know I've seen regular pandas. Did you know that there was something called red pandas? So what I've done, I've gone to Epic, and I know um, you can go to Epic and look for lots of things. So I just wanted to remind you that you can search up here type in whatever it is you want to learn about and if there's a book on it it'll pull it up so I put in red panda and all of these books pulled up so I think I'm going to choose this one and let's read this one this one is about red pandas now as we're reading this story I want you to be thinking why or what was the author's purpose of reading this story is it to entertain you is it to persuade you like we've been learning or is it to give you facts to give you information. So let's read Red Pandas. Guess who? It's a size it's the size of a cat, but it's not that. It has ears like a bear, but it's much more rare. It's out with the moon, but it's not a raccoon. Do you need another clue or can you guess who? It's a red panda. Many people know about giant pandas. They are big and they have black and white fur. Red pandas share the same name panda, but red pandas and giant pandas are two different animals. So here we have the giant panda and here we have the red panda. It says a red panda is sometimes called a fire fox, yet a fox and a red panda are not in the same family either. A forest home. Red pandas live in mountain forests in Asia. It gets cold in the mountains. So red pandas have thick fur all over. Even the bottoms of their feet have fur. All of this fur keeps them warm. Life in the trees. Red pandas are super climbers. They run quickly over branches and a red panda's body helps it live in the tree. Now here we have some text boxes that help us um, learn some more about this red panda. So right here we're going to read. Here's some labels. A tail. A long tail helps it, balance, helps it balance on the tree branches. The feet. Fur on the bottoms of its feet keep it from slipping on wet tree branches. They also have claws. Sharp claws grip the trees while it climbs. And they have a wrist bone. This long bone acts like a thumb. It helps a red panda hang on the branches. Now here's a panda word. It says balance. This is one of those terms that you may not know what that means. Balance is to stay up and not fall over. And to grip means to hold on tight. Lots of leaves. Now I'm wondering here, when I look at this page, what do pandas like to eat? I'm wondering, I can see that they're eating something, but I'm wondering what that is. Red pandas find food in trees and on the ground. They eat lots and lots of bamboo leaves. They also munch on fruit, grass, and mushrooms. And then down here it says, bamboo leaves are a favorite food. Ah, a day sleeper. It says red pandas are active early in the morning and at sunset. They are often active at night too, but they rest in the middle of, a day, of the day. Red pandas dangle their legs when it's hot. And here's a panda word, active. What does active mean? Well, here it says active is when you're likely to move around a lot. And look at this picture here. Now it says that they dangle their legs when it's hot and they curl up when it's cold. Now here's a bunch of fun facts about red pandas. Let's look at number one. Number one says that red pandas have very long tails. Their tails are almost as long as their bodies. Number two says they lick themselves clean like a house cat does. This is called grooming. 
Number three, newborns have hardly any fur on the bottoms of their feet. Their fur grows as they get older. Number four, in the winter, they may spend up to 13 hours a day looking for bamboo and eating it. And number five, red pandas eat about 200,000 bamboo leaves every day. That's like us eating 200 pieces of spinach every day. That's a lot of spinach. That's a lot of bamboo for a little animal. Aw, the little ones. A mother makes a nest out of sticks, leaves, and grass. She will have her babies in the nest. Between one and four babies will be born, and their babies are called cubs. Now it says here a red panda nest is usually in a tree. Now here is a question and an answer. There's been some on the other pages, but Miss B just didn't read them. This one says, what does a ghost say to a red panda? Bamboo. I thought that was cute. Cubs don't look red when they are born. They are grayish brown. They drink milk and grow bigger. Then their fur turns red. The mother picks up her cub by putting it in her mouth. Now, I know we've probably seen lots of other mothers do this um, to their cubs. Have you ever seen a human mother do this to their cub? Has your mommy ever done this to you? I haven't seen anybody do that. Something to say. When cubs make a high whistle, their mom comes running. It means the cubs need something right now. Adult red pandas also make noises. They may twitter, speak, or snort. What kind of noise do you make when you need your mom? Their home area. Red pandas mostly live alone. Each red panda lives in its own area it calls home. Sometimes another red panda stops by, but it won't stay for long. Ooh, hide and seek. Do you like to play hide and seek? I wonder how red pandas play hide and seek. Can you find the red panda here in this picture? Kind of hard to see. Red pandas are shy. They hide when a predator is near. They blend in with the forest and their black fur matches the shadows. Their red fur matches moss on the tree. Now, do you remember what a predator is from when we read the story yesterday about the narwhal? Remember, a predator is an animal that hunts and eats other animals. So I'll give you a, a few seconds to look and see if you can find that red panda. All right, moving on. We are still learning about red pandas. They are hard to find and study in the wild. People are trying to save the forests where the red pandas live. If we save the forests, we can save their homes. What in the world? Now these are pictures, these pictures are close-up views of these, of things in a red panda's world. Now it says to use the hints to figure out what's in the pictures on page 31. Or it says the answers are on page wording. 31. So up here is a word bank, and here are some things. Now, you have this book to read and to look at for the rest of the day. Miss Speed's not going to go over um, these things in this book, but you have the rest of the day and the to finish or to relook at the book and see what it is you need to find out about red pandas. Happy reading. Have a great day, friends.